you know, we uh, start the game off with a little bit more energy. You know, I feel like the first few minutes were kind of just a little slow here and there. And, you know, it's just a mentality thing. We're going to find it, so, you know, that's a positive thing. And I know that our team's going to pick it up. So, um, mainly it's just how we start. And, you know, you can tell the difference between the first half and the second half, just the energy that we played. You know, I'm very happy with how, it's, even though we lost, I'm very happy with, with how my team played throughout the second half, just based off of how hard we played and the energy. You know, so uh, there's definitely, even though it's a loss, it's definitely like a positive loss because, you know, we kind of found what what we usually do. Can you talk about how hard he was going against that zone? I mean, everyone talks about it, but now you've faced it. What, what was it like? Uh, it's, it's definitely a, a lot different, you know. Q is very known for picking up a lot of tall players with long arms, you know, just making the zone a lot harder to pass into the middle or pass to the corner because they, you know, they're so good at it. And, uh, you know, it was definitely a lot harder than I thought, but I mean, once you find out how to beat it, it begins to open up, but we kind of found that out too late. Chris, what did you think of the, the same question going up against that zone? Um, basically what Lonnie said, uh, the guys, you know, they're long. Um, their wingspans are, um, they close the gap, so it's hard to um, just make simple passes around the zone. Um, you got to get in there and attack. And even then, when you do get in there, they close it, and they do a good job of being disciplined and um, finding the shooter. So um, it's definitely a, a different experience from my first time playing uh, against a zone like that. But um, I think, like as freshmen, I think we know what to expect now um, and just be better the next time. Chris, this is three straight losses for you guys. Just where are you guys at now and what needs to change moving forward these last few games here? Um, I mean, nobody wants to lose. Um, I feel like you just got to gotta look at every loss, take the positives and take the things that, you know, um, that you're, you're trying to work on uh, to be better next time. You can't you can't just think about the past. Um, so those losses are in the past now. Um, we got to move on. Uh, we got a few more games left, so um, it'd be nice to finish those undefeated. Bonnie, is there kind of a sense of urgency now with four games left and just, you know, lost three? Straight, you, you know, um, right the corner. There's definitely a sense of urgency, but there's nothing to be overwhelmed about. <clears throat> you know, we're gonna go back to the drawing boards and see what we gotta work on and just pick it up. So, like, you know, a, a team like us, we shouldn't be too, you know, scared or worried about. Oh, is this next game? Are we gonna lose this next game? You know, every game we sh we should pretty much be like, yo, we gotta, we can win this game. So, um, you know, we just got to approach these next four games with a little bit of a chip on our shoulder, feeling like we've been disrespected throughout these games and, you know, play, play aggressive, have fun, you know, play like a team. You know, I know Chris and my teammates have my back and, you know, they know I got their back as well. So it's all about just at this point really just picking it up and finding what we usually do. For both players, how much does the loss of Bruce Brown in this particular stretch? I mean, you, you pretty much know the answer to that question. Bruce is, uh, he does a lot for us uh, defensively and offensively. So um, anytime you lose a guy like that, it changes things up. Guys got to step up. And um, I think we're still kind of figuring out like how we can um, close that gap of what we're missing from Bruce. So um, it'd be great to have him right now. Uh, pretty much what he said, you know, he brings a lot to the table just you know, scoring-wise, attacking, uh, passing, rebounds, you know, the list kind of goes on and on. Uh, and we have, like what Chris said, we got to find how to close that gap onto knowing that even though Bruce is, Bruce is not here, you know, we kind of picked it up and got better. So it's all about just knowing each other's personnel and, you know, understanding that we have to play a little bit differently and be more aggressive on certain, certain aspects of the game. guys as, as two freshmen and a lot of times meeting this team, you know, on some of those plays, especially after a couple of the freeze you guys with each other and just like, all right, we got to be the ones. How does it feel to be two freshmen to be in that situation in the college game to have that type of freshman, you guys? Um, I mean, our coaches say it now, like, second half of the season, we're not freshmen anymore. Um, 
we just got we know we know what to expect. Um, we know how to supposed to play. Um, we still might make a few mistakes, but other than that, we know what to expect. Especially in this league, I mean, like Syracuse is a really good team, and they're seven and seven. So are we. So um, I mean, I think we just gotta I mean, c uh, continue to come together as a team. We can't be um, using the excuse that we're freshmen. We got we gotta be better. Um, I gotta be better. Uh, pretty much what Chris said. You know, we're even though we're freshmen, we're not freshmen. If that makes sense. Um, you know, the things that Chris does, and people are surprised. I'm like, yeah, he that's he does that every day. You know, there's certain players that you know you can separate from being average and being excellent. And Chris is an excellent player. He's not just an excellent freshman. So there's really no more categorizing us as freshmen except. What type of player are we? Are we good? Are we, you know, this? Are we that? So there's no excuses as to, oh, they're just freshmen. That's maybe why they lost. Or, oh, they're just freshmen. That's maybe why they caused turnovers. You know, Chris is a, an amazing player. I'm an amazing player myself. And we know how to play the game. So there's no such thing as a, an excuse. If we got to lead the team as freshmen, we got to lead the team. It's just that simple. We got to grow up, get mature. We're both 19 years old. Um, you know, this is a man's game, so simple as that. We just got to pick it up, take this take this loss, deal with it, swallow it, learn from our mistakes, and pick it up next game. You guys get kind of sick in that question after a uh, freshman play? I just, I just don't feel comfortable holding myself accountable for that. Like, I, that can't be an excuse anymore, so. Uh. Pretty much. Uh, it's just, I feel like we're not a freshman. I mean, you kind of deal with it through practice. If you cause a turn, or you're like, yo, that's that freshman stuff you're doing there. But it's kind of just, you know, your teammates want you to pump you up. But, you know, we've been playing so long. You know, it's February. We've been playing so long. It's kind of just like, you know, we know what you can do. We know it's not like, oh, you're a freshman. I ain't giving you the ball. It's like, yo, I want you to shoot this if you're open. I want you to, to attack. I want you to be aggressive. So. Uh, there's, that's pretty much it.